Look at these three iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch pages. When scrolling, the video gets smaller and its corners are rounded. I put a video tag in the HTML document and copied the video source from the Apple site. I write keyframes in the CSS document and choose a desired name for it. I named it Scale. In the From. I set the width to 100% and the border radius to 0. And in the two, I set width to 85% and border radius to 10%. Now I take the video class and write the animation command and set the linear property. Save the document, but nothing happens. I give it 5 seconds, but you can see that this animation runs without scrolling. Just put the view value for the animation timeline command. You can see that it works by scrolling our animation, but there is a problem and the video is no longer full width and the corners are slightly rounded and it is different from Apple's website. For the animation range command, I set the entry property to 50%. The problem of full width and rounded corners has been solved, but there is another problem when we scroll and the video passes the middle of the page. It becomes full width again and the rounded corners disappear. Now, in order to solve the problem I have here, I must set the cover to 100%. You see, this is exactly what we wanted. Now I want to give this title an opacity animation while scrolling. Just like before, we define a new keyframe with the desired name. And this time we set the opacity value to 0 for from and 1 for to. We give the title animation to the class. Write the name opacity for it and set the view value for the animation timeline command as before. Now we have to consider the value 0 for the entry. I hope this tutorial is useful for you and if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Percent Tutorial channel.